Okay, I wanted to take a second and go through how to copy a course. Um, so you're going to want to sign in. I've already signed in, so it logs me in. You want to go to create or copy a course. Copy a course. Copy another instructor's course. And here's where you enter the ID that's in the email I gave you for the specific class. Um, I'm going to do this for Math 050 Master for the uh, fall. So it's going to be SHAY19491. And when you click go, then it's going to ask you to put in your course name, the course description. Please put your the, the COTC course name as well as the section number. And then I put second term. Um, so here's an example. Um, for my 050 term course. Um, enrollment start date, if you want to set a, that's going to be, I'm just going to set it for today. Enrollment end date, if you want to set a time for them to be, say, you got to get my math lab by this date, um, this is how you would go through that process. I usually give them till the end of the term, um, just because if you do shut somebody out and then they decide they want to get in and start doing homeworks again, you're going to have to get in here and adjust this date. Um, course start date and course end date, again, you can do that based off the syllabus or give them more time. It's totally up to you. Um, available for copy, unavailable for copy, it doesn't really matter. And then you would go ahead and click create course now. After you do that, it's going to give a little spinny wheel and it's going to generate a course ID number for you. And that's the number that you put in the syllabus. Once you get your course created, let me show you what the 050 shell looks like. Um, once you get your course created and you go down to course tools and then um, assignment manager um, let me make this window a little bit smaller so you can see the whole, the whole view um, then if you look, these dates are not correct. So we'll go through and we go to settings for class and you can adjust these settings um, to the correct due dates. So after you get the course created, adjust the due dates and then put the course ID in your syllabus so that your students can get logged into your MyMathLab course.